this video we'll talk about the panel data econometrics. So first we'll take a look at the definitions of the panel data and we will take a look at an example. Second, we will do the panel data with two time period. We are going to again estimate the effects. We're going to estimate the populations. Third, we will do the fixed effect regressions. So which is the generalized version of two period two times periods model. Fourth, we will do the time fixed effect, which is another special case of the fixed effects. Finally, we will talk about the fixed effect regression assumptions. So let's get started. First is, is the definitions. So in the video 1 to 12, we mainly focus on the cross-sectional data, which means that there are n different entries. So there are and different people or and different countries or and different firms with one time period for the panel data we are focusing on and different entries against and countries and firms or and people but we are looking at t time periods in which t is greater than 1 that means we are looking at n different people at t time period at many time periods. So I will use the some classic examples in the textbooks. One example is that the fatality rate. That means the number of people died, okay, being killed. The fatality rate. So this is equal to the 2.01 plus 0 0.15 the B attacks. So this is the data in the United States. In the United States, uh, there are many people die in the drink drivings. So when the driver drinks so much alcohol, then they will be careless in driving and they kill lots of people. So many states or many governments want to implement a beer tax such that it will deter people from drinking and it may help to reduce the fatality rate. But based on the 1982 data, it seems that oh, if we increase the beer tax, more people will die. Okay, so, so this violates the economic assumptions. And in data of 1988, again, the fatality rate is equal to 1.86 plus 0 0.44 the B text. Again, this shows a positively correlation between the B text and the fatality rate. So higher B text leads to higher fatality rate. The more worse scenario is that okay in 1982 you can still say that the T is dead. Is it, it is not is it not significant? But in 1988, after you calculate 0 0.44 derived by 0 0.13, this beta one hat is statistically significant at one percent level. So that means that it means that higher beer tests cause more people to be killed in the car accident. So obviously this is no this violated the traditional economic theories. This is mainly because the model suffer from the omitted variable bias. So in the in the United States, different states will have different characteristics. Say different some states will be poor, while some states are rich, while some states are many discrimination. So this all will trigger different fatality rates. While in the, in this in in this model, we just take a look of one variables. So this suffer from the omitted variable variable bias. That's why we need to use the method called panel data to solve these problems. So what is the panel data method? Well, we will again use this example in the two time period. So this is two time period examples. So let's see how econometric she solve this problem. So to solve the orbital variable bias, one way is to insert more variables. So here, we will change 
the regression equation to be fatality rate at entry i at time t equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 the b attack of state i and time t plus beta 2 z i so here we don't put z i t because we assume that there are some effect not changing say the unemployment rate or the income level or the policies will not be changed in a short time period so we keep we assume this is fixed so we drop the t subscript to say that oh this is fixed in different time and plus the error term uit so we can derive two equations based on this regression equations the first one is the fatality rate of state i at 1982 so this is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 the b text so in short bt I at 1982 plus beta 2 Z at state I plus U I at 1982 so the second equation is fatality rate for state I at 1988 so this is beta 0 plus beta 1 B text for I at 1988 plus beta 2 Z I plus U I 1988 Next, we can use the second equation to minus the first equation. What we get is fatality rates in short FR at for state I at 1988 minus the fatality rate of state I in 1982. So this is equal to beta 0 minus beta 0, 0. Okay, the next one is beta 1 times B attacks for state I at 1988 minus b at state i 1982 plus beta 2 zi minus beta 2 zi is again cancel the remaining is plus error term ui at 1988 minus ui at 1982 so this is a very clever way because in this case we can reduce all the fixed factors of each state say in the past the unemployment difference states has different unemployment rates, income level, or policies. While if we put this to the we put this z as catch all variables, this catch all the effect of other factors. And we and we use the mathematical trick minus to cancel this effect. So we can just maintain the change in the beer tax to see whether the beer tax can affect the fatality rate. So we can use OLS to estimate this regression equations. So if we use the OLS, we find that fatality rate of 1988 minus the fatality rate of 1982 is equal to negative 0 0.072. This is the constant term minus 1.04, the change in the B tax. So the standard error is 0 0.36. So here you find that, okay, finally, we got a negative relation between the beer tax and the fatality rate. The higher the beer tax, so say the beer tax increased in 1988, increased by some certain amount of tax with respect compared to 1982, the fatality rate will decrease. So if the beer tax increased by one dollar, the fatality rate decreased by 0 0.104. So maybe you think that this is very small, but in the data in the United States, the fatality rate sample per 10,000 people. So actually this can reduce the number of people being killed by 10,000. So Panel, panel data is a way that you add the variables which is fixed across the time then you do the subtractions then you can est estimate the model estimate the beta hat so this is okay okay for t equal to 2 but how about for t greater than 2 say 3 periods how can you do the subtractions you cannot because you don't know which year to minus which year
well, you can, but you, you need to use lots of times in comparing the data. So, econometric sheets use another way. So, it explore the ways, similar to this method, to explore the way to solve the t periods model. So, we will use the method called fixed effect regressions to solve the t periods model problems. So this is the model we der derived last page, yit equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xit plus beta 2 zi, which is constant across the time, plus the error term. And we, we can put this beta 0 and beta 2 zi to be the alpha i, so we can reduce these two parameters into one. And this makes the equation easier. So this is equal to the beta 1 xit plus the alpha i plus uit. Alpha i is the fixed effect. We call this the fixed effect estimate, fixed effect parameter. Well, because this is constant in different time. So in panel data method, we use a method called entity demean OLS to estimate the beta 1. Okay, so how can we do it? First, we have to calculate the average of the yit across the time because only time is changing now. So the average is 1 derived by t sum from t equal to 1 to t times yit plus beta 1, 1 derived by t sum from t equal to 1 to t xit plus alpha i. Since alpha is constant, then the average of t time period is just t times alpha i divided by t, so this is alpha i, plus 1 derived by t, sum from t equal to 1 to t u i t. So this is the average of y, x, alpha, and u among all time periods. Next, we will use the our time to, re to minus this average. So we will get y i t minus 1 derived by t sum from t equal to 1 to t y i t equal to beta 1 x i t minus the average of x i t alpha i minus alpha i is cancelled. The fixed effect is cancelled by this differencing. Plus finally u i t minus 1 derived by t t equal to 1 from 1 equal to t u i t okay so if you want to compare the time period at 1 you can use the year 1 data use the year 1 data here for x y and subtract with the average x and average y you can derive the beta 1 and if you want to calculate the t time period equal to 100 just insert y i t and x i t at the time 100 minus the average and average again you can calculate the beta ones okay so this is the way to compute the beta one for t period models well sometimes you may ask why we assume why we assume the fixed effect is unchanging across time can the fixed effect is unchanging across the state okay well of course you can so this is so we will use the technical fixed time effect to solve this problem so the difference is just across the state rather than across the time so we will replace the formula to be beta 1 x i t plus mu t plus u i t okay saying that the difference is just across the state while at time they are the same so again you can use the time demean method in this case we will call this time demean so we take the average across the state first calculate the average of y i equal to 1 to n 
of n state plus beta 1 1 derived by n sum of i equal to 1 to n x i t plus mu t okay mu t is constant along the state so the average of the states is just n times mu t derived by n plus finally 1 derived by n sum from i equal to 1 to n u i t okay again you use your e equation the time you want to subtract the average okay y i t minus the average equal to beta 1 x i t minus the average of the x i t mu t minus mu t cancel finally is u i t minus again the average across the states of u i t again you just plug in the value of x i t and u i t you want to investigate then subtract compare with the average then you can again find out the beta ones you want so sometimes what about you want to hold both fixed effect for the states and the time well it's also okay you just need to do two time demean one time demean and one entity demean so this is your original formula beta 1 x i t and we put some state fixed effect alpha i and time fixed effect mu t okay so you do two two things two demean one is entity demean one is the time demean okay for the entity demean this is just t equal to one plus t y i t equal to beta one one divided by t t equal to one add to t x i t plus alpha i plus okay here difference time we have difference mu t so this is equal to one times one divided by t sum from t equal to one to t mu t plus finally the average of u i t with respect to time okay this is the first entity demean second is the time demean n equal to one plus up to n y i t beta one one derived by r n n from one to n x i t plus now alpha is changing across the state so n equal to one up to n alpha i plus well mu t is unchanging along the along the states plus finally one divided by n n equal to one up n up to n u i t okay then you use the first equation to subtract the entity demean and time demean so you will get y i t minus the average of y with respect to t and average of the y with respect to n and this is equal to beta 1 times x i t minus the average of x with respect to t and the average of x with respect to n next you can see alpha 1 minus alpha 1 cancel but you still need to minus this alpha i with respect to n so minus 1 over n n from i equal to n alpha i and minus mu t here cancel with this mu t but you still need to minus the average with respect to t okay so this is special here this is the intercept at both time demean and energy demean in the panel data econometrics okay finally you need to add the error term u i t minus the one over one over t t from one to t u i t minus one over n i equal to one to n u i t so in this case you just plug in this difference value of x and y you need to investigate 
plug in the air fracture of X and Y, plug in the air fracture of X and the Y with respect to T and N, then you do the subtractions. Again, you can estimate the beta 1s and intercept here.